Guys, what's up? My name is Justin Mark, and in this three-part video series, we're going to be talking about some secrets to manifesting love in relationships, okay? So let me introduce myself, or reintroduce myself, if you already know me. Uh, I, I'm Justin Mark. I spent the last eight years traveling around the world, working with some of the top dating coaches, uh, influencers, and clients of mine, teaching, dating, social dynamics, soul skills, and relationships. And I've learned what makes a relationship and what breaks a relationship time and time again through my experiences, client experiences, uh, just tons of experiences. It's pretty crazy stuff. So in this three-part video series, I'm going to be telling you how to manifest love, how to find love, how to fall in love, how to create these relationships. Pretty much in the thin air. It's pretty cool. It's almost like anytime you're bored, time to fall in love again, right? Right now, like full disclosure, I have like four different women I'm seeing intimately. Uh, we're like at that stage where it's like we're all kind of like loving each other it's interesting and uh everything's open it's all cool and everyone's cool and respectful and it's actually really great it's like one of the happiest times of my life it's a lot of fun too and if you follow the advice in this three-part video series you can recreate these results you can recreate any type of relationship dynamic results you want and live a very happy relationship life in a very consensual and respectful way that's win-win for everyone involved so my name is Justin Mark. Let's jump straight into it. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Now, guys, wait, before we jump into the video, we're going to offer you a lot of value. We're going to give you a lot of advice. I want to push this content out to a new audience. So do me a favor right now. Smash the like button. When you click the like button on this video, it gets pushed out to new people. And uh, we want to help more people. So do me a favor right now. Click the like button and let's jump straight in. I really appreciate that. Do that right now. Let's just get back to the video. So guys, there's really three steps to falling in love and turning that into a relationship dynamic, okay? And that is part one, attracting a partner. Part two, keeping a partner. Part three, growing with a partner. So part one, we're gonna talk about attracting, finding partners, and kind of like, you know, which, you know, <laughs> you know how it is, right? And uh, it's pretty simple, but also not actually easy. It's simple, but not easy because it can be complicated, but it's also very cool once you get it down. A lot of guys, what they like to do, they like to attract lots of partners, date them for a short term, if you know what I'm saying, and then they avoid the love. They avoid the deep depth of relationships. But a lot of guys who do that are missing out on something amazing and beautiful. To fall in love is such an incredible experience. To look at a beautiful woman in the eyes thinking, I want to spend the rest of my life with this woman, or I want to impregnate this woman it's just such a crazy experience seriously uh or going through a breakup feeling like you just lost it all honestly it's something that kind of makes worth like life worth living uh it's kind of something that just makes you have so much perspective and let me tell you something you grow so fucking much from it it's crazy and there's a saying that people always think their first love will be their last and they always think their last love is their first. It's interesting how that works, right? So you can fall in love many, many times. I've probably been in love seven or eight times. You know, I can name them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna name them, but I can, right? And it's always different, but it's always similar. It's always beautiful, but also horrible. It's also soul crushing, but also magical. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's kinda like a Disney movie, right? And from the time you were young, Disney, social media, television, wired you with these wrongs misconceptions of love and relationships. And this is gonna cause you a lot of issues unless you follow all the advice in this three-part video series, okay? So here's the thing. You need to make sure you're not just falling in the Disney fantasy land of falling in love, okay? Because you fall in love with the wrong person, they ruin your life, okay? One of my best friends had a woman pretty much steal tens of thousands of dollars from him, right? Uh, I've literally, I, had a, I have a friend that I went to college with who literally killed himself over a woman, okay? I remember sitting on my couch in Australia and one of my friends from college calling me, telling me that my friend Alex had killed himself. And I was just like, whoa, right? So you gotta be careful. At the same time, I remember dating my ex-girlfriend, wanting to give her everything, and it just motivated me to grow a six-figure business overnight. 
right? I remember having a beautiful girlfriend, thinking, oh my God, with this girl by my side, I can do anything. And I traveled to 20 countries in a year. Pretty crazy. So with the right love and the right partner, powerful stuff. With the wrong one, very dangerous, okay? So in this three-part video series, we're gonna be talking about finding the right partners, keeping them, and growing with them. It's pretty, pretty nice, okay? This is something every human being, every man, every woman needs to learn and know because it's such a huge part of life, you can't really avoid it. But uh, you can do certain things that allow you to optimize it. So how do you find love? How does one find love? How do you fall in love? Everyone wants to fall in love. Everyone wants to experience love. Everyone wants to experience their first love or the second love or fall in love again, right? Even me, after many times falling in love, I'm still like open to it. After like heartbreak after heartbreak, after crying <laughs> over girlfriends, after like, you know, fucking having mental breakdowns in front of my parents crying over a girl, right? It's still kind of nice to fall in love. Right now, I'm kind of kind of got the feelings for a couple girls, but there's always like that one girl who really, really stands out, right? And it's really interesting how that works. So how do you find love? Many different ways, right? Tinder, <laughs> Instagram, like it's possible, through social media, dating apps, right? Networking, socializing, going out to parties, bars, clubs, events, places to meet people, to be social, through your own network, through the people you know, friends of friends, people in your general vicinity, <laughs> like people who live on your street, maybe end up hooking up with your roommate. I cannot confirm or deny if I've ever done that. Um, but what I can tell you is there's a million different ways to meet people. But when you constantly practice meeting people and being social and going out of your comfort zone to meet people and be social, you develop something called confidence. This is a term so important, I tattooed it on my arm, okay? Confidence. And when you are seen as confident, something crazy happens. You get seen as a higher status mate, more attractive. Whether you're a man or a woman, but especially if you're a man, you get seen as very attractive. And that's one of the key indicators women or femininity looks for in men or masculinity to see, is this person a good partner or a good mate? Okay, it's pretty interesting how that works. And so what you wanna do is ideally develop yourself so you're constantly pushing your comfort zone, being confident for yourself, a charismatic version of yourself, okay? And also optimizing your status, your aesthetics, and your situation. So your living situation, whether it's your career, your finances, your house, the place you live in, your logistics, right? That's gonna be pretty important, right? If you live in the center of the city versus like two hours out in the middle of nowhere in the suburbs, you're gonna have a different opportunity for meeting people and optimizing things to be in your favor, right? So that's like your whole, like I guess you could say money, right? Uh, your status, your social status, social media, how many Instagram followers do you have? How many people are watching your Instagram stories every single day? So I noticed something, I posted an Instagram story uh, yesterday and in 16 hours it's seen by 2300 people my old Instagram used to get seen by like 4,000 people per day it's pretty crazy how that works right and many of those people are women right if like 20% of my Instagram followers are women that's hundreds and hundreds of women seeing my Instagram stories per day that's hundreds of dating options potential partners seeing my social media me presenting myself every single day right and so you ideally want to optimize your status right your social status your social situation uh, social media Right, so like you, you can literally create a TikTok account, blow up on TikTok, all of a sudden you have all these dating options. It's crazy, right? So it's a really interesting way to improve your status, okay? Uh, and then your aesthetics, looks, improving your looks, grooming, hygiene, uh, fashion, uh, even things like smell, right? Because the way you smell, oh my God, crazy. Your smell is a very key indicator on is this person attractive or not? Funny enough, your grooming as well, the way you present yourself, especially as a man, uh, if, if you do present yourself very, very well, it kind of tells women that you're used to being around women, which essentially tells the women, this man's used to being around women, therefore you have pre-selection, meaning other women have pre-selected you, therefore you already are attractive. So being aesthetically pleasing, especially when it comes to grooming, fashion, hygiene, literally is a key indicator on what type of status you are and if you are attractive or not. It's funny how that works. Plus with social conditioning in the media, if you have a nice haircut, well groomed, looking good, optimizing your looks, you know, now you kind of look like Zac Efron or that dude on TV or whatever the fuck, right? And now women can perceive you as 
high status or higher status or better looking, right? And therefore you're more attractive and you could potentially attract more options of potential partners, right? To mate with, okay? So this is breaking down how to find love, how to attract love and how to attract that. Now, really, how is a woman gonna be attracted to you? Vibe and energy. The way you feel, other people feel, right? Check this out. If I start laughing, be going, <laughs> you're probably gonna be like, woo, oh, I feel happier, right? If I'm like, oh, hey, man, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Frowning, facial expressions, you're gonna feel a little bit down and mellow. Maybe even right now, you might feel like a little bit, whoa, chilled, zenned out a little bit, right? But if I'm smiling, like, hey, welcome back to a new video. We're gonna be talking about love. Now you're feeling like confident and empowered, right? It's interesting how that works. People feel what you feel. And so if you want someone to feel something about you, you need to feel about them. So I'm gonna tell you some little secrets, some dark secrets of how I make people fall in love with me, right? If you think about it, it's pretty logical. I kind of almost like trick my brain into thinking I'm in love with someone or feeling the emotions of love. They'll feel that back. And it's very easy to fall into that relationship dynamic. But it's not gonna happen unless you are high status. It's not gonna happen unless you have all these things I've already talked about, these prerequisites. Because imagine this, think about romance. Think about your typical like, you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio outside your window with a guitar singing to a pretty girl, right? It's like, wow, that's so romantic, right? But imagine if like Harpreet Singh from Bangalore, India was like, hello, miss, I am standing outside your window with flowers. You'd be like, what the fuck? I'm calling the police. like. Police, there is a creepy fat Indian man standing outside my window with flowers. But if Justin Bieber was doing it, it's perfectly okay, right? Because of status and authority. Your status dictates your level of ability to attract partners, right? So you need to make sure you are high status. All these prerequisites are so fucking key, okay? So key, super important. So these are just the baseline ways to attract a partner. Now, if you dig through my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash justinmark, or you check out my three-part day game series, or my three-part night game series, maybe even my three-part social circle series, maybe my bootcamp documentary, or some other piece of content on my channel, maybe my street interviews where I ask girls things about interesting topics or whatever the fuck. You're gonna realize that there are so many different ways to attract a partner. There's so many different variables. Way too much for a short three-part video series, okay? And too, too much to even talk about in this video. But you need to figure out how to be attractive and not be unattractive. You need to figure out how to Develop high level communication and behavior, your vibe, your energy, your body language, your voice, your facial expressions, all these things that would attract partners to you and be that guy so you can attract that so you have the opportunity to kind of execute and find girls you vibe with and build love. Now, in part two and part three, we're gonna talk about that further. We're gonna talk about keeping the love, growing it, and all that fun stuff. It's pretty cool. So uh, pretty much end it here. Uh, we'll see you in part two. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch part one, part two, and part three of this three-part video series so you don't miss anything. And uh, my name is Justin Mark. You can actually follow me on all social medias if you have any questions, DM me. Uh, my new Instagram, DrunkJustin2. My Snapchat, SexyJustin. And join my Inner Circle Telegram group, Justin Mark's VIP Inner Circle, linked in the description box below. And uh, guys, if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos. And uh, we'll see you very soon. And also, if you have any comments, leave it down below. I love chatting with you guys. I love making this content for you guys. I hope you change your life. I hope you fall in love. I hope you experience it at least once or twice or thrice. Amazing, really cool. And it's always a crazy, crazy experience in general. So guys, thank you so much for watching once again. Justin Mark, talk to you soon.